I have a competition this morning uh, for high rocks. Now, the truth is, I don't really know what high rocks is. It's kind of like a athletics testing thing. I've watched a few of their competitions online. I'm going to be heading to the gym in a minute. We're just going to try this little competition out and see how I feel. I'm actually pretty nervous about this because I'm not really a huge fan of competitions. I don't know why. Either because I put too much pressure on myself or I don't really like the atmosphere. But this one's at my gym. So I'm going to know like 95% 95, 95 of the people there. That helps. It's not like a huge day long competition, which I have done in the past. I've done ones that are multiple days. And so this one's slightly shorter, which makes it slightly less intimidating. But also, kind of at the start of the year, um, it will be with people I know in a place that I know, so that might make it a little less intimidating. But as Olivia keeps telling me, the point is to just go there, do your best, have some fun, uh, and then come home and have something to eat. It's a little big for an hour. Nope. Really? No, I think Olivia said that there's a race on today. It's called the First Chance, which is usually like the first 10k race. I don't think there's a half marathon version. I think it's only 10k. That's why there's a lot of tourists around who don't really know where they're going, which is fine. But here we are, pulling up to the gym. The World Series of Fitness Racing. Get in, mate. How you going? Yeah, yeah. You going? So here I'm just doing a little bit of some warm ups because there's a lot of fitness and cardio in this. So I was just doing some shuttle runs and then a few burpees just to try and get my heart rate up. So the actual workout was a one kilometer run, then coming straight into 50 burpee broad jumps. I think it was about maybe a meter or 75 centimeter gap for me to jump over. Then straight into 100 lunges, then through to the other room where we did a one kilometer row then into 30 hand release push-ups and then 100 wall balls with a six kilogram ball for men and four kilogram ball for women and a wall ball is kind of like a squat that you then come out of and throw the ball and it has to go over 10 foot uh, it was absolutely brutal that my hearing has actually gone I can't hear anything but I'm gonna go see the dog now and my sister-in-law there were some very very fast times in that some very fast times but I got sil uh, a silver ranking so I'm happy with that overall I'm obviously really glad I did it and I'm actually surprised at the time that I got um, I thought I'd be much slower that's probably partly a confidence thing and also I know how fast some people can do it What's interesting is, <clears throat> as you're doing it, to me, I was like, you just you just have to keep moving. That was the kind of the case of it. Some parts of it were harder than others. The wall balls were brutal. I was having to break them up way more than I would have liked. And I kind of thought my lunge training would help with the wall balls, but they didn't. Although apparently I was doing the deepest depth, which is good because I've been really working on range of movement. So at least that shows something. The lunges were fine. I was happy with those just kind of hammered through them and then my burpees they were tough but the row was difficult I, I, i'm really working on my row i tried to keep it sub two the heat that i was in was very fast uh and then to get out into some hand release push-ups overall super stoked i did it uh felt absolutely awful at the end i've got the lung now and my hearing is sort of it's like I've, my ears are popped like when you go flying so I'm going to have to wait for those to kind of come back. So obviously trying to suck in so much oxygen that it was going in through my ears or something. I don't know. So yeah, overall, super happy I did it. Now I get to eat some food. And yeah, catch up with you guys in a bit. Thanks very much for watching. Bye, guys.